girls what just wanna have fun. <laughs> you know, guys, after long consideration, I think Sonic fans aren't as bad as terrorists. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right, we're ready to start the the brand new episode. Am I gonna have to hear Amy's theme like sixty times? You're gonna hear. Ha, ha, fire, I'm gonna. Fire. I'm gonna want to shoot I'm myself. I'm gonna set you on fire. I'm on fire, fire. Shut up. <laughs> no, you don't get it. I'm on fire, fire. <laughs> Pyro TF2. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start it. Three. Two, one. Oh, what? You weren't recording? I'm re no, no, I'm pressing the play button. You're good. <laughs> oh, oh, I was tricked because you did like a countdown. No, I did a countdown, but I was just to start the game. Like actually starting the game. You're good. I got that. I got your bit. <laughs> you had me going like, you know what? I know a casual way to reintroduce this no, thing. That I've always... No, it's on camera. You're good. Okay. And I thought you didn't get it. No, you're good. God damn it. I'm back from Publix. I met Dennis there. I'm bored. You bought groceries. Same place, different day. Wow, Amy. Maybe you should appreciate the life you have. <laughs> Classic Sonic CD moment. <laughs> Is this Sonic CD? No. Oh. It's the only it's, I mean, they, it's the only other time she's went on an adventure with Sonic before this. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I sure don't. Wait, wait, Jaden, look, look, look at this. Huh. Wait, look. <laughs> Amy, you're from there. <laughs> Nobody's in the it accepts me. <laughs> this is your favorite cousin. This Eggman ship flying around. It's so cool. And with my star, we're gonna rule. I was gonna Eggman, say that. Eggman, 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 Ivo, 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 You see, you can translate Ivo to I love you. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and Amy Rose, too. A thousand troops of... Does a bird ever fly directly into you? Yeah. Really? No. A robot. Give me the bird. He'd love to, really, but the fox sensors won't allow it. <laughs> I see what you did there. Real morality. Turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we shall learn. <laughs> Fuck. Real <laughs> <laughs> morality. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why, that's one of my favorite bits from the show. We don't know how to turn this out. That's the lesson that we shall learn. Amy's gonna protect the bird. Why does the dialogue writing just get slightly more coherent with each- with each story? Uh, I don't know. It was all given to different people. Each one with a slightly less worse, a slightly better case of paranoid schizophrenia. I am a, I am Amy and I run around the town. Oh, wait. What was that? Sonic. That? If Sonic's not with me, I have a frown. <laughs> when, when Amy's with me, I have a frown. <laughs> Honestly, she's getting kind of codependent. I'm worried. <laughs> Please leave me alone. <laughs> We're... That's what God told me after I got my paycheck. You're- he's really worried for you? <laughs> no, 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 something good may happen at the casino area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you almost- you almost bet the ball pit. I didn't like that, by the way. That was not cool. Yeah, but I won. Yeah, you're right. We did get a bunch of riches and... Yeah, just riches. Yeah. 
20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, $27. We risked our life. Your life for $7? Is this? That episode was literally just on. I love that. My hero. <laughs> Seven dollars. Like look into the like camera me? like the office. <laughs> She's like Jim looking at the item. <laughs> Listen, office is for virgins. Workaholics is for the chads. <laughs> Dennis, you you bet my kidney for seventy seven dollars. Listen, it was the principal, Jim. Yeah, but I won. Yeah, it's the principal. My kidney is gone. You've got it. Oh, I, mean, I only had one. one. Yeah, you still have the other. Shut up. <laughs> no way. Uh, it's not like you lost both. Sonic's like you girls, icky. Uh, you just concussed her there. <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl. Good. <laughs> she deserves it. <laughs> no, no, that's not where I want to go. We have to go to the Twinkle Park. That's the first stage, right? Yeah. Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> How I wonder what you are. <sighs> Dennis, I feel like we need to talk about this, right? Yeah. The Zelda movie. <laughs> I'm... I'm mildly worried. worried. I think most people are. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm I'm someone who thought the Mario movie was just okay. Me who likes the Mario movie, but you know, like me okay, who I really like, likes the Mario movie. Be like this is. I feel like this will be like this is scarier. I like Zelda more. Don't ruin Zelda. No, no, this is. I I totally feel that. Listen, I like Zelda way more, you know? Well, not way more, because I love- And Mario. the guy who produced Bratz 2007 is, uh, spearheading this. And Morbius. And I think he worked on- and apparently he also helped co-write Rise of Skywalker. But he wrote- we uh, did Monster Truck! Did Monster Truck! No. Dun, no. Somehow- Somehow Ganondorf has come back from the dead. Yes. He's back again. I was really hoping for Lance Reddick Ganondorf, but unfortunately that can't happen now. I still think Doug Lauren should be Ganondorf in this movie. It's just live action. <laughs> oh. Why not? <laughs> It'd be funny. Let's talk I think, I think Kojima should be Ganondorf. <laughs> Actually, no. Lar Lawrence Fishburne should be um, <laughs> Ganondorf. <laughs> no, that was a... Uh, me and Dad, me and Jaden that was Morpheus. Before, before you got in, me and Jaden were making jokes like, man, what if Shigeru Miyamoto just played Link? <laughs> he didn't trust anyone else to do it. <laughs> That's because Zelda's all based on real experiences. Yeah, you know he's fought in many gods and like demons and shit before. <laughs> you know a couple fish people and imps. Now I have a question for you. Do you think, uh, do you think who's gonna play Tinkle? <laughs> <laughs> if he if he were to show up, Peter Dinklage. I can see it. Actually, no, Danny DeVito. We said no. We said that he. Do not work. CGI him. He just needs to be in a straight up Tingle costume. Look. I said Danny DeVito. The same is tights. Like Get him. I am I'm just imagining like on set they're like, alright, so we need you to like ha write on these balloons. And he's like, okay, I'm on the balloons now, what do I do? Like, and then like uh <laughs> he accidentally starts floating away. <laughs> and action. He's like, oh Hey, Link, get me down from here! <laughs> I tried to do my little hammer flips, it didn't work. Whoop, doing they little hammer flips. I like doing the hammer flips. That's like the best part of playing the game. So you can do woo! Because <laughs> she's slow as hell. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Hayao Miyazaki. <laughs> Why does anime food look so good? <laughs> 
Ronald är jag som ser! I fucking lost my mind when I first saw that meme years I ago. Did I did too, it was really funny. I still think it's funny, but yeah. Ronald är jag som ser! Leave me alone. <laughs> this section like fucks with my head actually. It does too. I I I'm kinda like in kinda screwed up over here. <laughs> you know, this part messes with me. But I know what to do now, so it's all good. I'm gonna see if I can reach out to um Ethan about <laughs> about a collaboration. Remember yeah. Ethan, right, Riley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I was I was actually thinking maybe he should be the one who plays Sonic Forces in one sitting. No, I can do it. <laughs> I don't get it. Ethan's really fast with Sonic games. So am I. I've seen this in one sitting. You did what in one sitting? This game. This game? Yeah. I could believe that. This game's not that long. I mean, I could probably do it if I wanted to. I love Sonic Forces and its character customization that only gets good once you've beaten the game. Unless you get the Sega pack when you can dress up as I.I. <laughs> it it's not even, like, programmed so that you only get the good stuff afterwards. That just kind of coincidentally happens all the time. It's, well, it's just because the game is so short that you can't get the good stuff while you're playing. <laughs> yeah. Um. If only you had, if you had a better computer, I would have said we should have done it on Steam. But we should have done it, so we have to. you have to challenge yourself to beat it within the refund period. Oh, that would've been funny. <laughs> um, did you hear? Apparently, I did. I checked this recently. Did you hear? Like they actually delisted, at least on Switch, the the Sega Atlas costume pack. Uh, I didn't see that. It's not on Switch. If you look at it, that that's like the one of the few only ones that's not like there anymore. What was the? Uh... I remember Garden of Ban Ban 2 used to be uh, beatable within the Steam refund period, and then they kept imploring people, No, stop it! Stop refunding our game! And Literally. so they eventually just issued a patch that padded the game out a little. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Garden of Ban Ban is such an anomaly. I, I actually want to pirate those games so badly. Why? <laughs> Just because they're uh, just fascinated. Oh, you can play it if you want, I'm gonna find it. <laughs> you be in the room with me? Of course. Anything for you. Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man. Don't let him finish that sentence. Oh, they... I always thought this scene looked creepy, just because they look so dead inside. <laughs> oh, yeah, the way she just jerked her head over. <laughs> Imagine you walked in the room and- ROBOT! I love robots! Yeah, this will be your favorite character in this game. Except we can't play as him yet. I mean, we could if we wanted to, but we're gonna wait. Get is he, 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 is he aside from the match? final story, he is the one that comes last, and... Oh, he's Honestly, my second favorite gameplay-wise. Oh, is he actually last? I thought Big was- oh, like, Yeah, you know, yeah, Big was for him. You're right. I think I just remember as a kid skipping big and then like first and then going in. <laughs> you mean no? When... Just shoot her, shoot her, please. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> she could like squeeze through those bars if she really wanted to. <laughs> yeah. They're called badkins, right? Yeah, badkins. Badnicks. 
Bad Nicks. Bad Nicks. Bad Kings. Short for Bad Nicholas's. <laughs> bad, yeah, every bad every robot Eggman makes he names him Nicholas. <laughs> you're Nicholas and you're Nicholas. Your own Nicholas version two. Get those emeralds for me, Nicholas. <laughs> you think that's what he was gonna name Sage? He's like, wait, shit, it's a girl. <laughs> Yeah, Nicholas still works. I'm <laughs> <laughs> shaking. Go, escape. Well, what? Sure was nice of Mr. Gamma to let me escape. You're not like other robots. I'm not like other robots. Wait, I have free it. will. I have free will that prevents me from killing other creatures. It also prevents me from befriending you, bitch. <laughs> would you befriend Amy? I wouldn't. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if I would. What's in here? Like, I, I don't see any harm in it. Yeah, but is that like someone you would like want to talk to all the time? That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh wait, Jaden, this would, Jaden, this would be your favorite part of the game. <laughs> Look at this awesome game. Awesome game. I like what to think it? Robotnik just has like a leisure room here. He already has a pool room. Wait, look, ready? Or, oh, rem oh. Remember like the, uh, the ski you know, like, you don't hit, you gotta hit the Sonics. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Reminds me how in the movie, uh, there was the hologram ski room. Can't hit the Sonics. Or you gotta hit the Sonics. And Super Sonics cost more. Oh, shit. <laughs> you hit an Eggman! You should <laughs> kill <Sorry>. yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're just so fast. See, look, that one's... <laughs> Yeah, see, I gotta do that again. I think I need, like, a specific amount of points. 2,000. Yeah, 2,000. Okay, I can do that. If I believe. Do you believe in life after oh. love? <laughs> <laughs> I wish the Sonic ones taunted you when you missed. Too slow. Oh, you keep getting Eggman, Riley. Some of these you don't so like so Eggman. I love Eggman. You don't understand. I, I like Eggman, but he just has such a hittable head. <laughs> He's bald. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, is the game going that way. Why did it start going when I left? Okay. Try again. <laughs> you really want to hit them super sonics where they are uh eggman's gotta have good dexterity damn They're, they move so quickly i doesn't he run faster than sonic in one of the games like one game <laughs> which is funny and it's all i need to know that he's better you ever see that one comic panel where, like, he, uh... Where he just punches Sonic in the face? <laughs> I have not. Where he's like, come on, Doc, let's just, just quit our usual stick and let's get out of here. Oh. And he punches, you've seen it, right? I, I'm picturing it in my head, but I don't remember if I've seen it. Okay, I got it. <laughs> That's all I needed, <laughs> right? You beat it. Yep. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening! You beat my high score! You know how long that took me? I programmed those Sonics to move so fast! 
<laughs> I wanted to give myself a challenge. This is not fair. We need a more intellectual game. Pulls out a chessboard. <laughs> Your move. Pawn. Pawn. Pawn to e6. <laughs> Pawn to e6. Your move. <laughs> They should add that, that would be so good. <laughs> Pawn to E6, quick. So, sometimes I think about that, uh, the ending of Sonic Generations where the past and- the past and present Eggman were talking about, you know what, maybe we could try teaching if we get out of here. Yeah, he's like, I've always wanted to boss people around. <laughs> Like, I, I just love picturing the idea of of Eggman as, like... A teacher. I, he's either a college professor or a kindergartner teacher. Nothing in between. <laughs> Little Timmy, what did I say about sticking crayons up your nose? That's... That's disgusting! Uh, I think it's supposed to smell out smegma? I think it's supposed to smell out... Knuckles. <laughs> No, wait, no, this is the chat room. I don't need this. I thought this would take me to the... ...the thing, I'm sorry. My mistake. Rejoin on the computer. Okay. I'm back. Oh, my mic quality may some difference. No. As if that matters. You sound oh. the same. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's good, because this microphone is... Zero cheat! Did someone say zero cheat dance party? <laughs> Grab the balloon! Yeah, that's her end goal. That's how she beats levels. You have to get to the balloon. Hold on to the handle. And turn the key oh, to open oh, the door. Sorry. Who spin me? Oh, wait, other way. Who spin me right around, baby, right around like a record baby? He's stirring the chili. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's just right. <laughs> you see that? It, like propelled me the other way. <laughs> you see the robot try to kill me? <laughs> He's gonna get you. <laughs> you gotta save the world. <laughs> Is this it? <laughs> you and your mom. Hey. <laughs> hey now. That's rude, don't you think? Hey now. An all star. <laughs> Get your game on. <laughs> we'll play. No. You use the pound form. Trying to see your cameras on side. I do not want to play. Well, I won't. Uh, uh, no. uh, I could totally see Ankle singing that song. I mean, Tom Petty was literally on King of the Hill. Exactly, and he didn't sing it. Which it was lucky. Really, I know that. I was saying, which is really ironic that he never actually, no character in the show ever sung like any of his songs. No! <laughs> oh! Amy, you better watch out. I never liked them robots. I was gonna suggest that maybe, maybe they should get a character who was related to Lucky, played by another, either Bob Dylan or Jeff Lynne, since they were also in the Traveling Wilburys with Tom Petty. I thought you were gonna say also played by Tom Petty. <laughs> no. Aww. Wouldn't be doable. 
I would. And I, I don't think Jeff Lynn has ever done acting before. I, I don't know if Bob Dylan has either. What's Bob Dylan even doing? Probably crack house, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> That's just my answer to every anybody. Like, what are you up to today, crack house? <laughs> Wait. Oh wait, he's on tour right now. Oh. Ah, cool. That's nice. I don't like this robot. He stinks. You know Bob Dylan was in the room with the Beatles when they all tried weed for the first time? I thought you were gonna say, did you know Tom Petty was in the he was in the room? <laughs> no, I, I said Bob Dylan. No, I said. No, I thought you said. Did you know Do uh, Bob Dylan's in the room with uh, Tom? It was in the room, like the movie. <laughs> That's what I thought. You, you know, Tommy say. Wiseau was in the room. Why was he there? How did he get, get him out of there? <laughs> What's he doing there? Get out, man! In a minute, bitch! <laughs> in a minute. Oh no! They made a pop figurine of Epsilon. Ah, oh, shit! I thought I didn't want to buy a pop. Of Epson? Oh, like but that's printer. like the only merchandise. Epson! No! Epsilon! Epsilon! Oh, I thought you said Epson, like, oh, like the printer? <laughs> no! Whoa. That's the Finally. <laughs> I, I actually wanted a Canon printer. <laughs> what is this? Can I say, maybe outside of Big, Amy's the worst character in this game. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. She control like Dookie. He's in this game? Yeah, Dookie's in this game. He's like, Johnny, we gotta stop, we gotta help stop chaos. This is a job for Johnny X. <laughs> Johnny X is what they called the anime adaptation of Johnny Adventure Director's Cut. <laughs> Chris Thorndike was there. <laughs> I remember it, people kept saying Sonic X would be a lot better if it focused on... If Sonic were partnered with uh, Chris's friend in the wheelchair instead. And you know what? You know what I say to that? Yeah. Anything's better than Chris Thorndike. Listen... Chris Thorndike's not relatable. And also, that would have been a very cute dynamic. Listen, Chris Thorndike's not relatable, right? Because he's just like a rich kid. Who's like, man, life sucks. My parents are never there for me, except when they are. The only people that can keep me company is like, my, my, my maid, my butler, my Doc Brown. <laughs> only Sonic can cure my depression. <laughs> Thorndike was such a little twat. He wasn't terrible, like, he wasn't like the worst thing ever, but like, he's like, whoops! <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't terrible, but like, no one liked him. He's like, he's like, I oh. mean it when I say, like, pretty much all the human characters in that show were better. Agreed. His, his grandpa was all, awesome. All of his crit, all, all of Chris's uh, human friends who got, like, no screen time, Yeah, the Burger I would have rather the show been about them. Yeah, the Burger King Kids Club. Yeah, they were great. Mm. That's what they were. <laughs> Maybe even Topaz. I, I like Topaz. Uh, I wouldn't want it to be about her. She's cool though. She's a good antagonist because they were trying to because she was trying to get him. Remember? <laughs> I'm gonna get like you. Huh? I like Topaz. You just like her being with Rouge. Don't lie. <laughs> I think they have a fun dynamic. What what can I say? I agree. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. How did you get in here? <laughs> I pretended I was a bar of soap. <laughs> I gave them the slip. No, I agree. I like Topaz. And we just went to go cool. <laughs> Was that in the Japanese version, though, just didn't talk about being a bar of soap? <laughs> I want to believe that was. I know it wasn't, but I want to believe. <laughs> I want to believe it was a mistranslation. Bar of soap? What the fuck? <laughs> Move the handle and 
and the lips should move. Let's go down here. I remember this part from Sonic X. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember this. <laughs> Was Chris in this episode? <laughs> I have to know. Remember when, uh, it was Chris Thorndike who made Shadow a good guy? Remember when Rouge deliberately, um, exploited Shadow's <laughs> fondness for Maria? That was classic. <laughs> she- she exploited his trauma. Classic Rouge. You tell me she wouldn't do that in a new Sonic game if the character was traumatized? Yeah. She wouldn't. Or actually, no, she would. I know you're struggling from your family dying, but we need the j I need the jewels. <laughs> My family died, Rouge, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, but where are the jewels? <laughs> My hear me out, right? Mm hmm. I don't like her four kids voice actor. Or, like, voice acting. Her voice acting is pretty nice. I did not it, it sounds weird. It doesn't sound- it, It's not terrible, but, like, it doesn't- I like the one they have in the newer games better. And in Adventure 2 more. I don't know, I- I felt like the- I felt like the Sonic X one really stood out. Yeah. It wasn't bad, it just- I don't know, I like the other ones more. I mean, you had the voice of Bubsy in Adventure 2, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's crazy. <laughs> She's uh, also in Persona 2. She voice acted. I assume. <laughs> she I am a acted. trained professional! I assume. <laughs> A pilot's license? What for? <laughs> Is there a veterinarian in the house? I don't know what would make Rob Paulson really sad, but me happy. The Bubsy show got picked up. No, no, Bubsy meets Croconut Fred crossover. <laughs> you tell me that wouldn't be like top tier awesomeness. Think about Coconut Fred dressed as Cloud Strife. It's the only episode worth remembering. I just want to say, right? <laughs> I just want to say, right? No, 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 no. Hear me out. That episode, uh, Coconut Fred's actually like an unstoppable god. You ever actually watch the show? Oh. Well, I did, and you know what happens in that show? Nothing. No, he's literally god. Every time, like, his imagination runs wild, like, um... He would literally, like, everything he, like, imagines, like, comes, like, he's like, What if a volcano attacked the island? <laughs> and then, like, a, what do you know, a volcano happened and, like, is killing everybody. <laughs> and the only people that, like, are, survive are, like, you know, or, like... And that's when slip and slide. <laughs> it was, like, the only people that don't suffer are, like, yeah, are the people that, uh, like, uh, blindly follow him. <laughs> People who fear him are tortured. I'm sure gonna miss those secondary characters. No, he really won't. <laughs> Coconut Fred's evil. She just never accepted it. He feels no emotions other than joy. And he gets joy from torturing <laughs> others. <laughs> right. I think it's time we kill Coconut Fred. Bring me the head of coconut fries! Bring me the head of coconut fries! <laughs> and then coconut Fred pulls out a gun and says, See you in hell! <laughs> Good thing I found a magic balloon! <laughs> I was falling for hours! <laughs> hey god, Yoshi! <laughs> Thank you.
Yes, how would you feel if you got attacked by the group of football players? <laughs> I love that expression. Fire <laughs> Stumo! Group of football players! Did you see that expression she had where she's like, Yeah. That's <laughs> so funny looking. Me looking at <laughs> me looking at the mantis that just hopped onto my shirt. Aww. Dude, we're in a kidna land. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> yup, up, up, yup, 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 yup. <laughs> Woo! Live the dream. Where do I go? Oh, to go? be an echidna roaming around aimlessly. Yeah, you do? Yeah. I, I yearn agree. for it. <laughs> I'm pink echidna number 42. What, what number are you? Uh. 19. 19. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're a kid in a party, the top 100, dude. <laughs> Am. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> top 100. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Doing the hammer flips is the only fun thing to do is Amy. I believe they made a special in Splatoon 3 and 2. What, hammer flips? Yeah, do it. Do a hammer flip. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I got a gain speed. It's about yeah. 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 You can really do that in Splatoon. So what you're telling There's me is they stole from Sonic. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, this can't be. <laughs> what you're telling me is they, they, are, they are petty thieves and... And uh, I owe Sonic a paycheck, is what you're telling me. No, 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 this can't be. This can't be. Jaden, I hate to break it to you. You know in S Smash Bros, right? Splatoon's in there? Yeah, I guess you did one of the remixes. No! This can't be! I guess you did one of the remixes. Tomoyo Otani, I think that's Taylor the Swift. Name. Yeah, Taylor Swift. No, Tomoyo Otani, and you know what he does? Sonic music. But the Sonic music's good, it's not like the video games. It's the one thing that I like about Sonic. The music's usually good. Yeah. Except now it'll be associated with Splatoon now. It'll never go away. <laughs> Star Wars The Phantom Menace is the greatest disappointment since my son. <laughs> well, my son. Don Cara had a son. No, Don Cara. It's red, red. It's red letter media. Oh, sounds like Don Cara. Mr. Colossa. No, and he's like, and while my son eventually killed himself in the back of a gas station, the fact of the matter is, the Star Wars prequels will never go away. <laughs> there forever. <laughs> They'll never go away. <laughs> yeah, where am I supposed to go? Where's Dave? <laughs> hey Dennis, what's worse than your son? Honestly, Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Really? Not, not, none of the other ones? And Attack of the Clones and Rise of Skywalker. Oh. So what you're telling me is the fact of the matter is they'll never go away? <laughs> now I understand why... Star Wars fans are so engrossed in the, uh, supplemental material. Because it's better, usually. <laughs> and I'll take their yeah. words for it, because I'm not going to read a comic just for that. <laughs> I haven't My ass, when I had to... I, oh. I read one of the comics that took place literally seconds after, um, Anakin became Darth Vader. I just know of the one where it's, um, Han Solo fights an otter. <laughs> This one does. <laughs> I hate you, Otter. <laughs> I don't know what, what noises do otters make. <laughs> I can't replicate. Seven hundred manga series. Seven hundred manga series. 
Star Wars. That's how many Tezuka made. And I gotta read all of them. Well, have fun in hell. <laughs> I will, because most of them aren't translated. It's like a... No, that reminds me of. Right. It's a joke uh, on the 600th episode <laughs> of The Simpsons, right? Frank Grimes shows up as a ghost because it was a Halloween episode, right? <laughs> and it's like, seriously, is nobody gonna stop these people? And it shows every episode in a row, right? Mm -hmm. And he says, in hell, they make you watch it all in a row. <laughs> that doesn't sound like hell to me. I love The Simpsons. I can watch them all. Where am I supposed to go? You know, it's bad when, like... Oh my god, there's so many of them that aren't that don't even have a Wikipedia page. There's so many that don't have a Wikipedia page. That's bad. Fine That's really bad. Oof, it's move it, everyone stand back. Shut up, you kid in number 56. God. I'm gonna kill you. Shut up, boys. I'll kill you. Calm down, Sonic. We're your friends. Shut up, Knuckles. I'll kill you. I hate that. Tails says, "Sorry, pal, but can we make amends?" Shut up, Tails. Shut up, Tails. I'm gonna kill you. Was that I? Was that artificially generated? I don't think that was. <laughs> the 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 art in that video, the, yeah, the Toy art, Story one. That's all. Song. The song itself wasn't. I don't think. No. Oh, I, I've heard the it. other videos. He did ones for other characters, and yeah, based yeah. on his bad impressions, I can tell they're not AI. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the song's not, but the, the images are. By the way, he no. does have a song. Like one. Did, did he- was he the one that did that one, like, Plankton one? Or am I thinking of someone else? I think he might have. Where it's like- it's like a heavy metal song, it's like, The Secret Formula! <laughs> oh, maybe not. I don't know if that's the- <laughs> The Secret Formula! <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, right? Where it's like heavy, it's like he's taken over the town. Like he's kidnapped everyone, he's like he's brainwashed them all. Karen has like a verse, she's like, AI or not, we are taking over. Bikini Bottom will sink even lower. <laughs> it's probably not him. Yeah. But it was really funny. <laughs> Look at this beautiful <laughs> Look at this shitty Look at image in the back. <laughs> Have you ever been there? Yeah. This is the Mystic Ruins. <laughs> Mystical. Leave the chemical plant to us. <laughs> oh, Dennis, did I tell you about the video I saw of like, someone reacting to like the Sonic Forces? Like... Like, news, like, as it went along, and it was really funny. <laughs> huh? Um, it was, like, a really long... Because I was at work, and I had to listen to stuff, right? Or I was listening to stuff. And one of the things I got was, like, someone, like... They, they were covering, like, the news of Sonic Forces as it was coming on. They were, like, react... And all the... All, most of what they got was, like, wrong. It was like, listen... They only mention Chemical Plant. Doesn't mean it'll actually be a level in the game. They're not gonna bring back two levels. <laughs> uh, uh. They brought back three. <laughs> uh, uh. And like as as like as you get along through the videos, let's get he he gets like more depressed as he goes along. Like there's like a part he's like, listen, I only care about the story of this game now. <laughs> <laughs> the game already looks lame. <laughs> Sonic Forces is like Sonic Colors if it was lame. Some people and their Sonic fans who do think that Sonic Forces is or Colors is lame. I love Sonic Colors, I don't care what people say, that game's fun. That's one of the, few, the good ones, I'd say. You're one of the good ones, Sonic. Yeah, Sonic Colors is a good game. Don't you like Sonic Colors, Dennis? Yeah. Would you say it is a very well-made game? I think it's a well-made game. The original part of so. Yeah, the original game is well. Yeah, you only played Ultimate, right? Mm. Uh, oops. 
I haven't played it how it's meant to be played, but I, I enjoyed what I enjoyed. Um, that was weird. That, like, time from Sonic Colors to Lost uh, Forces, I'd say, all the games were, like, polished. Like, Forces isn't a good game, but I'd say it's, like, a polished game, you know? Like, there's not, there's not really any bugs or glitches or anything. Yeah. There's, like, no, like, nothing that's, like, looks wrong. It It is a functional, boring game. It functions as intended. I would still play Forces over 06 or Secret Rings, though. And probably Black Knight, yeah. That's the one with, um... He has the sword. Yeah. yeah it's like I figured that one exists. It's yeah, like that's who it is. Yeah, it's like King Arthur. You have to kill King Arthur in that game. I thought you were King Arthur. Oh, you become King Arthur at the end, for King Arthur is not an, uh, a person, he's a rank. <laughs> hey, what was that? Just like Bayonetta. Yeah, just like Bayonetta. <laughs> oh my. You don't know how like annoyed I was when I saw that. I can only imagine. Oh, I wasn't- well, I, I just- well... I thought to myself, it can't be any worse than Bayonetta being straight, right? Well, no, I didn't care. <sighs> I didn't care about that, I just was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> because technically speaking, that's a, this that Bayonetta's a different Bayonetta from a different world or whatever. Whatever, I, whatever. <laughs> Fine. I can when the alternate universes show their ultimate unlimited potential, and you see the worst versions of every character you love, <laughs> Man. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. When, when it comes to alternate Hello, universes, fucker. when I see, when I see alternate universes, sometimes, yeah, I think it would be funny if, like, you know, you have the good, lovable main protagonist, and then you have the complete opposite of that. That is literally the antithesis to what everyone likes, right? <laughs> I think that, that should be something that's practiced more. That would be funny. No, I didn't even care about the Bayonetta Luca thing. It's just I, I, I just think uh, the idea of Bayonetta is it's not a person. That is just a title. That's dumb. <laughs> that is stupid. That's what I was up to. I was like, really? That's dumb. <laughs> because like, because you're not gonna play Bayonetta three anyway, Dennis. So I'm gonna spoil it for you anyway. <laughs> It's implied that, like, the Bayonetta in 1 and 2 are, like, separate universes. <laughs> oh, I know about that. I just think that's, like, why'd you have to do that? You didn't have to do that. <laughs> so that's why I didn't care about Bayonetta and Luca thing, because, like, obviously the Bayonetta from 1 and 2, that's different. 1 and 3 is, like, whatever, right? <laughs> but still, like, listen. Bayonetta's not a rank, that's a person. It's stupid. No, kill yourself. <laughs> Amy, that's one of Eggman's clunkers. <laughs> Eggman's clunkers. Whoa. Sonic, you can't say that. <laughs> Whoa, Sonic. Wow. Wow, buddy. Wow. How do you think Omega would feel, dude? <laughs> Amy. As as a member of the uh the Robot Love Association. Uh, we do not approve. We we we, we not thoroughly Sonic. disown. <laughs> yeah, we we thoroughly dis disown Sonic. You'll nail that Eggman to the cross. Nail it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Fuck off the way, bitch. Well, <laughs> fuck on the way. Why are you helping me? Okay, wanna be Iran. What? Nothing, nothing. Just like 
I realize I'm starting to realize m the more the more media I consume. Not give me for four hundred one k. <laughs> the more media I consume, the more I realize, huh? Sonic does take a lot of inspiration from a lot of other pieces of media. Sonic does steal from a lot of things. You're right. <laughs> so it's a bad thing. Like there's a lot of stuff that like steals from. Like yeah, I mean, look at Chainsaw Man. That thing, that thing references like seven. Like it references a ton of shit. But I feel like a lot of it is transformative. Sometimes Sonic just reference stuff and it's just like it just literally just takes. <laughs> he just takes again, well, like, always... your idea of what Sonic is is what Gex actually is. <laughs> well, well, no, Ge well, no Gex is just a pop culture spewing little little madman. I love him. Sonic doesn't just spew pop culture. <laughs> you say this like I like Gex unironically. Oh. <laughs> that sounds Gex is always. I, no, I, I like him yeah. ironically. I don't care, Gex but I, I I like him so much ironically. I just like Gex, man. I I'm not I'm not I'm not ironic. I'm not irony poisoned. I just think he's funny. <laughs> oh, more independent. That's her character part. I was fucking joking. God damn it! What, Amy? I, I said earlier in the episode she's getting a little codependent. I'm worried. <laughs> you played this. You know what happened. Not in, uh, not in like two or three true. years. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, I think I happened to get Adventure One and Two. Uh, I think it was the day of the Sonic Orchestra, maybe. Or wait, no, it was before that. No, it was before that. Um, the I think it was the day they announced they first uh, teased Sonic Forces or er, Frontiers. I think it was a little even before that, wasn't it? Or am I crazy? Maybe. No wait, yeah, it was before. I remember. No, because we last, no, last day of high school, I was I was playing um Sonic Adventure while waiting for a Zoom class to end. Yeah, I remember that we were in the call. Remember we were play yeah, I was I was just watching you play it or they were watching you play it, but you know. Oh yeah, you heard me get pissed at Egg Viper. Yeah, that was really funny. <laughs> I, I wish I could recall any of the exact phrases I said. You said I I remember laughing really hard when you were saying all those funny things. I could recall any of it. Poopy, poopy, penis head. It was you probably say, amongst. You didn't say that, but it was quite funny. Okay, so we just have to guess everything you didn't say. I'm sure there <laughs> were some fucks and shits in there somewhere. Oh, of course. Did you see that? <laughs> she just sank. <laughs> Going for a swim. <laughs> Got okay. what that raft does. It takes it to the egg carrier. Whee! You see? Oh. It took us to the egg carrier. Because it sank, remember? Because it crashed. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Right. I'm so Amy. She is Amy the freaking hedgehog. She's Amy the I freaking thought... rose. <laughs> That's what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> Amy the rose. You know, all the characters are named, like, their last names usually just, like, the animal species they're named after. They are. So, does that which mean that, that means Goofy's. That, which means that Goofy and Max's species is a goof. <laughs> of course. <laughs> they are not dogs. <laughs> yeah, the same, same also way. Also means that Launchpad species is a McQuack. Yeah. And, and Scrooge is a McDuck. As opposed to a duck. Yeah, what the fuck is a Warner? Yeah, what the fuck is a Warner? <laughs> well, you know what? That, this answers your question, then. Warner's a Warner. Yeah, but, like, genus? <laughs> genus. I don't care what you are. If you start violating 
I don't care what you do, you just better get it out of there. <laughs> Epsilon, my beloved. I'm working on it. <laughs> I wish we could ball pit Animaniacs the Great Edgar Hunt. <laughs> oh yeah, was that on GameCube? Yeah, and it was released like six years after the show ended. <laughs> That's funny. I remember in uh, I remember in Duck Dodgers, there were these characters that were meant to be Porky Pig's nephews oh, that make a cameo. And they're all voiced by the Warners. They dress like them, except they're pigs. I remember that. I wonder what the storyboards for that scene were like. They probably just straight up drew the Warners in there as a joke. No, they probably just named him Yakko Wacko. Uh, or whatever. You know. Forget how great the Duck Dodgers show was. That show is cool. Fucking got Tom Jones and the Flaming Lips to do a theme song. That's crazy. I think I can get a new hammer this way. Is that like a secret or? No, it's like an upgrade. You can get. Secret upgrade or required? Uh, I don't think it's required, but I might as well try to get it right. Upgrades, up upgrades, people, upgrades. Oh shit, Eggman! I don't want to hurt you. I want to hurt Sonic. Or <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well, fuck it. Is that how you get the upgrade by doing the whack-a-mole game? I think you gotta get like I think four thousand points. To do it, oh but... shit! I... Jude just got um the world record in a speed run. What game? Oh. No one else, because no one else has done a speed run for this game. What game? Dream Day Wedding Viva Las Vegas. Never heard of it. I think it was like some CD CD-ROM game. Uh, I didn't play a lot of computer games like that. Was it just a wee lad? I had. Oh, uh, what what genre of video game? Oh wait, it's like a I Spy kind of game. That's what I was thinking. Cause I was thinking it was like one of the. I was thinking a point and click. And yeah, you just point things and click up, and you found them. You point at it and you click it. Who have thunk it? Who done it? Would have thought of that. Me, I did. <laughs> I thought of it. Well, I Apple. stole it, so... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. That's what you get for blowing up my fucking house all the time. Okay, well, you Dick. stole it. You know what I stole? What? Your bank information. Is he lifting drinks? I'll say your bank information. Well, uh, you shit. I have, like, six of them. Yeah, and I hold all six of your accounts. Oh, no, gosh. you fucking don't, because I lied to you. Well, guess what? What? You wanna know what I did? Jack shit. Your house. In which case, con congratulations on coming out. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Just jack shit. <laughs> That's it, Jaden. You're getting five copies of Sonic Forces for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you for the firewood. Who said anything about firewood? I pull out a gun. <laughs> Start playing. <laughs> oh, the sweet release of death? I've always wanted that. Who said anything about that? <laughs> the gun? Oh, you think this is a normal gun? No, Jane. Yes. Don't you know what this is? I don't know, you just pull out a gun and you it's, assume- It's a boldly you... flea gun! Oh, thank goodness. I can finally- I can en engage in something that won't fry my brain. Three- you know what that one is, right? The three and a half hour just don't shoot a- Yes, I do know what it is. Okay. I still watch it over playing- what is it, Sonic Forces? Yeah. Yeah, 
would still would still watch it over Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces is shorter than Supposedly Flea, and I think that's funny. Just doesn't change the fact that I would still watch it. No, 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 I'm just saying, like, just that idea is really funny to me. <laughs> Sonic Forces is so short of a game that Supposedly Flea is like a longer experience. <laughs> It'll be an experience I'll walk away with a more positive outlook on. Really? To boldly flee? You think so? Compared to Sonic. Doesn't mean oh. I won't walk away with it with like a negative view, I was but... Gonna say, to me, you like watching, you're like, you know what, I finally understand. It makes sense. I finally understand Doug's vision. Yeah, I finally get it. Doug, Doug Walker is the idea versus the man. Yeah, Everyone see. knows the soundtrack critic is cool as fuck. Horrible opening. Terrible. Horrible opening. That's such a great. Everybody knows the soundtrack critic is cool as fuck. He reviews them bad movers. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> he reviews them bad movers. Gross. Keep it up, baby. For chance. <laughs> Stop it. It's not how you can't just say for chance. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I love that. I love that essay so much. I wish I could have written something like that. You would have probably failed miserably. Well, so did the guy that wrote the actual essay. And stop him. Yeah. He became a legend. Then what was stop it? Then what stopped you? I couldn't think of anything that funny. <laughs> Skill issue. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What are you, a Sonic fan saying skill issue when the game is bad and cuts through the floor? No, I'm just like, you, you just couldn't think Sonic. of something. You, you, the you, funny man, couldn't. You emulated Sonic fan behavior, Jaden. Hope you're happy. Go clean yourself up. I throw you a washcloth. <laughs> Go clean All yourself right. up. Alright, I'll be in the shower. Yeah, you better. make me. That made me sick. <laughs> what do you mean? You're the Sonic fan here. Yeah, and you, and you emulated Sonic fan behavior. You make me sick. <laughs> know this to be true. You know this to be true. I know it's true. It's all what? because of you. Do you say skill issue when someone says they don't like a Sonic game? <laughs> uh, that, I mean, to be fair, um, I think I have the biggest skill issue of all because in the big, the cat level, I glitched through the floor in the same spot twice in the same place that Aaron Hansen did, which means objectively I have less skill than Aaron Hansen. Oh. <laughs> Dennis, oh. <laughs> Dennis, you don't gotta beat yourself up that badly. <laughs> I think you were on call when that happened. I probably was, because I think I was there for most of your adventure playthrough, wasn't I? Yeah. Or like, I think maybe all of it? Probably all of it, right? Maybe. What? What the fuck? This rental computer just said a restart is required for to install software. Even though my thing explicitly said it shouldn't install software. Whatever, I can't get the flak for it. The computer did it, not me. Can't donate the player, hate the game. It was so nice of that hex bug to bring Amy up. <laughs> I thought you said hex box for a second. <laughs> Do you ever have a hex bug, Riley? No. I had hex bugs. I have a, I have a hex bug one. <laughs> I had a hex bug. Those things vibrated like nuts.
You ever heard like a Dreamcast try to operate the game? I would hope it could operate games. No, but have you ever like, heard... <laughs> you know, but have you ever actually heard it do it? It's like really like long. Like, like they're not long. It's like it, it like makes weird noises. Like it's like struggling every time you put in a game. It like it's. Th ah! no, that Come on! I need the load signal from bass fishing. No, like, ah! no, like you can like hear it like. The whole the tagline of the Dreamcast was like it's thinking, and the reason they said that is because it would be so loud every time you played any game. It'd go like, it hurt. It's the freaking plankton meme where he says it hurts. <laughs> yeah. All right, that was the last level of Amy, but we got a boss. So hard, plankton. I just cleaned the floor. <laughs> The, the seat, the best way to play Sega Bass Fishing. That was one of the Dreamcast games they ported, right? Like to modern stuff. Yeah, it was. The best way to play Sega Bass Fishing. Oh. <laughs> Imagine Sega making the Dreamcast collection and the only game they give you is Sega Bass Fishing. <laughs> Finally, a reason for me to buy a Sega collection. Or you can just buy it individually and not get the Sonic game that comes with it. Oh, I agree with that. What an interesting concept! Why haven't I thought of this before? That gift of that one Metal Gear <laughs> Rising character is stroking his chin. No, I... Isn't, first of all, his name is Jetstream Sam. Okay, thank you. I forget. I'm sorry, Dennis. I, I was thinking of that scene from Simpsons. Like, goodness, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> was that was that Troy McClure? Yeah. I love Troy McClure. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You may remember me from such hits such as Name a funny movie. No. <laughs> Finding Dory. He's a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, Binding Dory. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. Or, you may remember me. Wait, I'll be like, hi, I'm Riley. You may remember me from such Ball Pit Bozos episodes such as Sonic Adventure and Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> hi, I'm JD. You might remember me as the guy who spazzed out during Catherine Full Body. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, there's an emblem here. Do you know what was it Troy McClure's voice actor, Phil Hartman, was supposed to be, um, Zap Brannigan? Yeah, I knew that. But unfortunately, he, yeah, died, he died, so... so. Like shit. Rest in peace. Billy West tried his best. I think he did a pretty good job. I think he made his own take on the character, and it's really good. I love Zap Brannigan. You guys want to have a poplar? A poplar mouth? A what? Poplar. A poplar? No. Yeah, you, you saw the episode, remember? Oh. Have a poplar in your mouth, and you come to Fishy Joe's, where they come from, where they pay from, where they come from, no one knows. <laughs> no, because they're babies. Yeah, but they taste like chicken. <laughs> That's what every white person says. <laughs> okay, fuck you. <laughs> No, but this time it's actually true. Everyone ate them. <laughs> well, I have chicken, so... Yeah, but they're, they're like popcorn chicken. Everyone loves popcorn chicken. I, I mean, I've never met a person who didn't like popcorn chicken. Maybe yeah. that's how I get a girlfriend. I'm just eating popcorn chicken. That's a red flag if you don't like popcorn chicken, I'd say. Hey, then I know it'll be a healthy relationship. You could have nothing. It's the in... Square Pacer Test guy. You could have nothing in common, but like like popcorn chicken, and I think everything will be okay. We could hate literally everything about each other, but if we both like popcorn chicken, it'll all be okay. It'll be okay. Okay, now I think I can hit. Okay, I thought she was gonna clip through the floor again. <laughs> Did you see the tweet saying that, like, this game aged better than Ocarina of Time? <laughs> no, uh -uh. Right, right, aged about the same. 
Ocarina of Time's a better game still, I'd say. <laughs> well, to be fair, Ocarina of Time's, uh, Ocarina of Time's cutscenes don't all look like storyboards. That's true. <laughs> Are you saying this game looks like storyboards? Oh, no. Everything's just so static. That's true. You soon do right now? Amy has such an inconsistent character throughout the entire series. Like, your personality changes all the damn time. I think you can agree with me on that one, right, Dennis? Well, they, yeah. Like, they, they kind of, like, after, like, the... They stopped doing the whole, like, Oh, I love Sonic, you're so cool! Like, after they stopped doing that, they kind of didn't know what to do with her. <laughs> Like, After they listened to Jaden, they didn't know what to do. Yes, yeah, so they're like, well... They... Now she's just a girl that hangs out with Sonic, I suppose. She also likes tarot cards. Why'd they bring the- that, that was so random that they brought that back in Frontiers. I mean, it's kind of cool, but like at the same time, I was like, huh. You haven't brought it back in years, and then you brought it back randomly. No, it was- it was in promo art. In what games? Like, newer Social ones? Social media. Or? Oh. <laughs> yeah, there was a- there was one of her giving, um, Ray the Squirrel, um, the towers. The towers? The, 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 the tarot card. Damn it, Jay. The, 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 the towers? <laughs> Was it just the tower? Um, hold on. Tarot. Card. The tower. I don't check the so Sonic social media. It's usually just not funny memes. <laughs> usually. Oh, it was just a single tower. I remember someone did a tarot card drawing on me, and I got the tower, and... What does the tower that's, mean? That's, like, not a good one to get. Oh, so you and Ray have, like, unlucky fates, is what you're telling me. <clears throat> yeah, the tower is basically an indication of, like, um... Hold on. What was it again? Like, massive change. Are you okay? Can you like, unexpected massive change. Oh. You know what you Ray the Flying... Or someone know you're divorced, or someone near you dies, something like that. You know what, Ray the Flying Squirrel... So that was my first and last time ever getting a tarot drawing. And it was the first time that person had ever d gotten that card. Oh, anyone. Shit. Well, you know what Ray the Flying Squirrel's, like, unlucky change was? <laughs> Neglect. Yeah. <laughs> Not appearing in a Sonic game. Yeah. Is it? Am I the only one that thinks it's kind of crazy that they didn't bring Mighty and Ray back for Mania- or not Mania, Superstars? Wait, Ray's a girl? No, Ray's a boy. Okay. Why? I thought- I thought- for some reason I thought you said that Ray was no, a girl. I, I was like, wait a minute. No, I, I, I think it's crazy that they didn't bring him back for Superstars. That's Evangelion, Jaden. I <laughs> fucking know my Evangelion, it's not cause it's not- It's not cause of Sonic. <laughs> Jayden, you were literally Neon Genesis Evangelion for the Nintendo 64. I don't want to hear it. You no, know, he's Neon. You... No, he's Neon. He's Neon Genesis. Ellen DeGeneres. What does that even mean? Nothing. <laughs> no, I meant like for the Nintendo 64. Yeah, it's a real I, game, like, a... I think. Yeah, there's a real. No, oh, no, I, yeah. think, I thought you were saying like I had an obsessive face over like Evangelion that, on like the Nintendo 64. The... <laughs> no, just like the Nintendo 64 in general. Oh, I mean... Yeah, Ban Bandai published uh, an Evangelion game on N64. Yeah, I know, I know they yeah, did. Good, I think they they, yeah, they also guy. did it for, like... They also did, like, several Dreamcast games, which I heard... They look cool, because they have original stuff in them, and, like, I like the original. Listen, the angels are underrepresented in Ava. And we're done with Amy. Yeah, we're done with Amy. Down we're with one step closer to, like... Was it Gamma or is it Omega? Uh, gamma. Omega's gamma. another Sonic. Uh, gamma's and or not uh, Omega's and other Sonic games. You ready? How do you like this song, Jaden? <laughs> I hate it. Like unironically, I really do not like this song. You don't like ha ha fire fire. 
Não. <risos> oh, well. Would you believe me if I told you as a child this like when I heard the song like playing it on my GameCube I was I, I kind of like felt ashamed. Why? Because like it's such like a girly sounding song like in my little like fight like little like little boy mind I was like. But that was me when I was like. Five or six, <laughs> but I was like, <laughs> I love Big the Cat's theme. Big the Cat's theme is awesome. <laughs> you know, right, Dennis? Sorry, yeah. but I don't know. We are simply natural. Okay, all you gotta do is do a good lift right up and down. <laughs> it's a good song. And it's like, it sounds like silly, funny, cartoon fun. And if I describe something like that, you know it's pretty good. I remember doing that. <laughs> I ate it. Huh? <laughs> pull, pulling levers, or like, pulling the switches. <laughs> I like pulling switches. Oh, you do? Look at me, I pull the switches. <laughs> I remember putting- Shout out to Sushi. Mmm, yum yum. <laughs> Magnet Studios. <laughs> Let's give a props to Magnet Studios. <laughs> Look, Warner Music. Thanks for helping out, Warners. Thanks for warning a brother, you know? Thanks, Dread Fox. I forgot he was in this game. Thank you, Dread Fox. I'm my hundred dollars back. I'm gonna say thanks for scamming the Parappa fans, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Ryan Drummond. Thanks, I don't know, he isn't dead. I don't think he, he hasn't done anything wrong, I don't think so. <laughs> Just thanks, Ryan Drummond, you're cool. <laughs> oh, uh, Riley, did you see any more stuff about uh, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2? Uh, I've seen Jimmy Neutron's taunt, and I'm... <laughs> Just see all the story. Yeah, it pissed me off. <laughs> um, Characters that didn't make it into the roster are in the story mode as NPCs. I know um for Donatello's like, You Neutron. Oh that's cool. I know um for this the um Donatello's Final Smash, the other two turtles show up as a uh, like they're they're all in the turtle van. Ah. But they couldn't get all four. Uh... Yeah, I think that's like nothing they can get all four in like the actual like roster. But like whatever. No Arnold. Lame. I wanna be Arnold. <laughs> I wanna be Arnold. I forgot, did Ren and Pika in? Yeah, they're in. Guess what their final smash is? What is it? What do you mean? You don't agree with me! <laughs> hey. Get no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, that's the final. Do you the liquid? <laughs> then he's like, <laughs> yeah, that's the final smash. I uh, honestly, I can't think of a better thing they could have done. We did it. <laughs> Amy is no more. She has perished. Well, for Ren's final special, they just did. They did this. They just said, you know. Oh, what I'm gonna do with you, and it's just like the longest special in the game. Because <laughs> it's just him describing it, he's like, I'm gonna hit you, <laughs> and you're gonna, you're uh, gonna go. and I'm gonna look down, and I'm, and gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> no, no, actually, now hear me out, here's a better, here's a better uh, Final Smash, right? He whizzes right. on the electric fence, sending everyone to hell. <laughs> The map changes to hell, and basically Ren has domain, like, 
<laughs> yeah, like like no Ren and Stimpy get like buffs, like like they're like stronger now. <laughs> now that they're in hell. <laughs> It'd be awesome. You know what? I totally see it. They should do. They should do. I mean, the one we got is actually really funny. But like, if they had to change it for whatever reason, I think they should just do that. That'd be way funnier. <laughs> what if George Licker joined the fight? <laughs> no. What if? What if he had a can without a label? <laughs> no. What if? What if they had? What if? The, the, what if his final smash is making his opponents eat the fucking face? <laughs> What if Arnold just had to save the neighborhood <laughs> and join the fight? Wouldn't that be cool, Dennis? Would be very cool. <laughs> they can't fight for Ar they can't like ignore Arnold forever, okay? <laughs> they can't hide forever. All right, I, you know we, we can wrap up. Uh, any any final words about Amy or whatever? <laughs> She's pink. What about her personality? You like Amy? <laughs> she feels like Uron, but like worse. Like they didn't know what to do because she doesn't have a character like Adam or Paul to kind of bounce off of and like ground herself in. No, oh, so... this is I want Sonic to respect me. <laughs> oh, silly Amy. Sonic doesn't respect anybody. <laughs> Yeah, any last words, Dennis, before we uh, hop off? Dennis. Listen to Now and Then by the Beatles, now streaming on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube. You should, it's really good. I liked it. Alright, this has been the ball. His new album. It closes. Ball. 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 Ball.